Hello and welcome to Nugraha Yoga. My name is Rani and today we continue with our yoga series where we have been discussing the yamas and the niyamas. And these have been through practice and discussion videos. So far we've completed the yamas and we are about to begin with the niyamas. If you have not yet seen the videos on the yamas, please go check them out. Let me know what you think and then come back meet me here. <laughs> Today we go into our discussion on the niyamas and the niyamas are more personal rules of conduct, observances about how we behave, how we work with ourselves, where the yamas are more thought of as restraints guiding how we interact with others. The niyamas guide how we deal with ourselves. The first niyama Niyama <laughs> is Shaucha and this refers to purity or to cleanliness but more purity and purity not just in body and physical body but also in thoughts in our feelings in our actions and interactions so as we work with this Niyama we find that if we're thinking about purity and as we work to purify our body, our thoughts, our feelings, our actions, we will attain a sense of lightness of being as we let go of whatever is, is, um, is heavy, whatever is heavy in our body, whatever is heavy, what is holding us back. We will also gain greater clarity in heart and in mind as we um, move through, as we cleanse whatever fog is there, as we do practices that help us to purify. I want to read for you a bit from Deborah Adele's book, The Yamas and the Niyamas. And this is um, the base of what I've been using for these videos. Uh, the material is supplemented by my own thoughts and ideas about it, but I really enjoy her book. <laughs> so I just wanted to read on what she says as part of purity as a cleansing process. And on, this is page 107, she says, to practice the guideline of purity is to engage in cleansing processes, both physical and mental, that prepare us for these kinds of experiences all the time. And these experiences are more the um, experiences of consciousness of of moments when we feel very happy, when we are embracing life, when we are filled with wonder. Cleansing strengthens the body and insulates the mind, preparing us for the awakening of this energy within us. Cleansing prepares us for the greatness of our spirit. Cleansing lightens us to experience more of the divine mystery. And so, it doesn't have to be anything earth shattering, but it is work that we do um, on ourselves to purify, to cleanse. And so this process of cleansing, of purifying will look different for each of us. Just like everybody's body is different, our, our ways will be different for each of us. And so if we're thinking of purification, we might think of things like working on the yoga mat through our physical practice. Uh, maybe things like drinking more water and flushing out our system, things like fasting, um, spring cleaning your environment, meditation, these kinds of cleansing practices. We can also look at the Shat Kriyas, and these are practices given to us. Um, there are six cleansing practices. I believe the, the most common one is Neti, and Neti is the nasal rinse that we use. And apart from Neti, there's also Dauti, Basti, Trataka, uh, Nauli, and Kapalbati. And these are different cleansing practices for our body and for um, our digestive system, for our eliminatory system, for our breathing, for our eyes. So they're all practices that we can use and we can you know, really just try and see what works for us, what combination of things work to help us to purify 
body, heart, mind. Shaucha invites us to move into a position of ease because as we purify, we will find that we are lightening any load that we are carrying. Um, and this can be heavy thoughts, heavy feelings in our mind. We're working through just to become more comfortable with ourselves, to, to come back to the core of our being and just learning to be more present, um, more spacious and expansive as we clear away whatever, whatever gunk is there that is keeping us from discerning the truth of our being. And so this is Shaucha, the first Niyama. I want to invite you to stay on for the next video. And that video will be a practice video that we can do on the mat. So remembering that Shaucha is purity. And so we want to really work at creating a habit of purity. Thank you for joining me. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have a question or a comment, leave it down below and follow me at Anugraha Yoga TT on Facebook and on Instagram. Thanks again. Bye.